Mia Lope. This video is for my mom. She uh, contacted me yesterday. She was asking about my 1978 Chinook. And no, Toyota didn't start making helicopters. The Chinook is a Toyota Hilux, second generation, um, that was taken to Chinook, Washington and converted into a camper. Um, so this is Serenity. Right here. God, I love her. Um, the grill is off right now. And actually the hood isn't attached right now. Um, I'll do a walk around really quick. We've got these huge mirrors on the side for seeing, for trying to see around this. Right now it's full of my tools. Um, I got this taken apart. It's got a four speed manual inside. I've got the dash taken apart. Um, it was really funny. I got in here and I said, oh, I'm gonna see if there's anything in the glove box. What glove box? Yeah. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this thing because everything on it is just manual. Um, if you turn a, you know, you turn a lever, all that lever is doing is going down somewhere and pushing or pulling um, a flap open or closed somewhere. Um, down here, the heat goes through. And so if you change the heat onto defrost, all that happens is there's a lever that pulls this open or closed. And all that does is open and close this vent. So this vent's open to give you heat on the floor. You switch it to defrost, all it does is close that, redirects the heat through these guys, comes up here up top, and you have defrost. <laughs> Everything on it is so basic. I absolutely love it. Um, there's already a few um, aftermarket switches that have been put in. I'm definitely gonna be rewiring almost half of this entire thing. Um, the seats, our bucket seats and then so you can access the back right through here i'm gonna close this Doo -doo -doo. go around the side um this is your pet cock for your water spigot this right here is for your propane open her on up propane inside there it actually needs to be uh, readjusted. Anyway, uh, coming here around back. This door is going to be kind of hard to open. It requires two hands currently. Ooh, like a boss. So open it up. Make tea, not war. You've got a little bit of trash, sorry to say. Shelving over here on the left. and shelving over here to the right. And this opens up in the center. Space underneath. Um, obviously, counter with the sink. Here's my instrument panel. Um, your stove, gas stove all hooked up. Um, this is where the fridge should go, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to put a portable fridge in it. I might. They draw a lot of power. Um, so you've got all this up here. Obviously, the window opens and closes. Um, this Annalee already had in here. These guys. Storage. She got storage up in this. Storage up in this. Um, and then this entire top area up here is all storage as well above the cab of the truck um this is the couch currently can we get a shot of that it's the couch but you can pull this out it's got separate legs underneath it this is two sections so let's see if i can do this one-handed pull this out 
and boom, here's my bed. The window on that side. And this entire top pops up. I'm going to need to uh, get out of here and roll it forward a little bit. Um, so that, because right now I can't pop the top up, I'll hit the roof. So I need to roll it forward a little bit. I'll get a picture of that with it open. So that's the inside. Um, it's supposed to be a cat door actually down there. So if I ever get a tra traveling kitty cat with me. Yep. And custom camo job. Gotta love it. The, the drunken painted, um, ohm symbol here on the side. I'll redo that one. A little bit of duct tape. Don't worry. That's what I love about her is you see something that needs to be fixed. You can just fix it. This is all resin epoxy. This window is all just epoxied in because it came out at some point. Um, and obviously gas tank there. So everything on it either works or needs just one or two minor fixes all around. Um, but I am absolutely astonished. I'm so glad of this purchase. I love her so much. Let me see if I can get this hood opened up. She's not attached, so. All right, there we go. My 20R engine. Right now we have the carburetor off. I'm ordering me a new Weber. Here on this side, we removed all of my, um, all of my, I forget what you call it. It's all the emissions testings they had back in the 70s. Over here, I have <laughs> down here, my crank, I have one belt and all it drives is the fan and the alternator, and that's it. Um, my my uh, coolant, this is my reserve tank. It's just a coolant bottle that they cut holes into and ran in. I mean, these caps right here, these are for in-home wiring inside this thing. But that's that's what I love about the Chinook. We, all, we, we call it hippie wiring, uh, Jeremy and I do. But that's what I really love about it is that it doesn't need to be perfect. I can, I can go grab parts off of any car in the junkyard, and if I can make it fit, obviously some rust, but I can grab anything anywhere and make it fit and make it work. You know, it doesn't need, it doesn't always need to be perfect, and that's what I love about it. It's just so customizable that I can go anywhere and grab anything and wire it in and just make it work. So, yeah, there she is. Um, she's about, this is about eye height. I don't know, maybe six foot, uh, six and a half feet tall. And then with this popped up, it's a little bit taller. Um, I'll pop it up here in a minute just to show you guys. There you go, popped open. See how much taller it stands. I can't, yeah, I can't reach. I can reach up to here. So coming inside here, you can see now the top comes up and I can literally just stand up inside here just fine. Um, she has some LED lightings up around the top. Let's see if I can get those to work. I'm gonna probably wire my own. So the only problems that I can see is both these uh, nets, these screens have holes in them. Um, so I'm going to try and find a way to sew in new ones um, around the old ones. So both the back and the front. You can see this one's ripped here. And the front one has its holes in the front. So yeah, I'm going to have to try and see if I can find a way so to sew them so that I can keep these open on nice days because obviously it has its zipper, its zipper flap to close it. But on a nice day, of course, you're going to want the breeze coming through. Um, patches, that's all right. But, and yeah, this canvas up top, it's ripped, you know, here and there. Let's see if I can duck it, fuck it, you know, just get it done. Um, yeah, so being inside here is 
a whole new deal. Just hanging out here on the couch. Oh, just hanging out, kicking back, your legs up, you know? It's nice. I really like it.